say good morning but it's 12 noon and I just got out of bed half an hour ago. Juice here and preparing breakfast. It's 1 p.m. by the way. And Ryder's not even here. And I have a feeling that he's gone back to sleep, Tejas. It's been like 15 20 minutes. proper day on vacation together as in we have tomorrow but the boys are leaving tomorrow evening itself because they have to make it home early for another thing and we didn't have any concrete plans that's what it's like when you are here in the monsoon but we were hoping for a pool day when we woke up it was a little sunny and now it's been pouring whole day so i think we're just largely going to be staying in and around our rooms which is really nice not complaining Right now we are having a little snacky breakfast. We have like a brunch on the way because we got lunch stuff. It's that late. I don't think I'll step in the pool when it's this cold. But Ryder's the vampire among us. He's gonna kill me when he hears that. But still, he just really loves the cold. And me and Tejas are alike in that sense. We are feeling cold and he's like, he's like topless in this, dancing in the rain. <laughs> so like, how can he do it? So right came and he was like there's a big mushroom outside and I have a newfound interest in mycology and there's a giant white mushroom in the middle of this vegetable patch. <laughs> Look at it guys, that's the mushroom and it's really big. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say offensive stuff all the time. I'm not. I was just saying that if they allowed us French food in that college press, no one would have eaten it. So after our super late breakfast, brunch, lunch, whatever you want to call it, which was great, we decided we we're going to go to the pool anyway. But we're also going to chill a little bit before that, which is why I have my swimwear on, but I have like outside clothes as well. Boys are still not ready. When I ask them why they are not ready, they start arguing. Uh, so I just took some solo photographs. I'm gonna try to find the cat and then I'll return the pool towel from yesterday and get fresh pool towels, which is like something you need to do. They have a lot of rules surrounding the pool, but like I'm sure it's for everyone's benefit. It's not a big deal, but it's just like you have to go through all of the protocol. And the thing I hate the most is the cold shower beforehand because I'm very sensitive to the cold, but I know Ryder's going to enjoy that. They just and me will just be shivering. I took my round and I was about to leave because I didn't see her at any of her usual spots. And then I heard her little meows and I saw her running. Bunny, she's, she's trying to be fast, I love it. Where are you? Yes, sweetie. Come, come, we go to our spot. I was leaving. Come, Dolly, come, come, come. crunchy faces that they make when they are biting the kibbles. So friggin adorable. I was here yesterday and I saw that cute like black and white striped 
flying thingy and I was like oh my god it's a bee it's adorable we need bees it's pollinating the flower and then I went and showed the video to Rydal and he was like it's a wasp or a hornet and thanks to Google Lens I also learned that it's definitely either one of the two because I use Google Lens features it's so helpful and they match it by image so I did get something like Potter wasp which I felt a little honored about and also hornet <laughs> that was bloody scary because I was really close to it and apparently like wasps and hornets are the ones we have to be frightened of not bees <laughs> Luckily, it didn't see me as a threat or anything and like just minded its business. I minded my business. We moved on. Baby bunny, baby, baby, baby bunny. Do you like your new name? Do you like it? No? I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. Are you doing that right there? I did from this time. Oh. As in I shook it on purpose when I did. Drizzling continuously, but I mean, we're going into the shower and into the pool, so it should not matter that much. We made it, we're going, it's way too cold. I'm just, I'm just going to look cute, that's it. I can't swim anyway, but like, it's so cold. It was wet, it was stormy, but we did have our pool day after all, just as I anticipated. I had trouble with getting into the shower and I kept insisting I would only dip my toes in the pool. <laughs> but slowly I was able to like lower my entire body in till only my head was out. And afterwards we all showered and this is me helping Tejas get a basic girl routine. The audio got messed up here, which is why I'm doing a voiceover. I learned uh, how to take care of and how to style my hair in the pandemic and it really just changed the way that I looked at my own hair and it gave me a deeper appreciation for varied textures. Tejas's hair is different than mine, it's more curly but I just wanted to give him a baseline because all of this can seem incredibly complicated at first, like the whole process of what products to use, like gel, cream, scrunching, all of that but he was really enthusiastic about it and I think he really also ended up buying the same products that I was using. We were all sort of hungry and cold after the pool day and all of the rain so I did actually order some tea because we've been having the tea made here but sometimes you just want like a tastier tea that you can whip up in a resort room kitchenette. I ordered from like a chai based restaurant. We had a few of them in Mumbai also. So cute. They sell these little cups. Like who drinks in cups this size? I'm not sure. And this is what the chai comes in. It's nice and hot. Got some chili cheese toast. All of it gets a little soggy in this weather. Even if it's freshly made, it does not survive the journey at the optimal temperature or texture, but it's still amazing. The cheese is still molten though. I think I was supposed to go. Good evening, sleepyhead. Hi. Our last tea and dinner together and I think you can see very well that all of us were feeling a little bit down. Now don't get me wrong, we do love our respective lives 
Tejas and Rydal have built an amazing life in Mumbai and I love my life in Goa but we just had so much of fun together that how much time we spend it doesn't feel enough and it just sucks that we cannot do this very often and it was coming to an end. <laughs> Cheers! Last night in Goa tiring for the night it's 3 a.m our last night but i'll see you all tomorrow ribaba but what <laughs> if we day. what if i go for a morning walk and i do not want to go <laughs> he threw concrete in my eye today it was water it was concrete <laughs> like good night god bless you